I just wanted to make a quick video here early in the morning on Friday here on T2 Biosystems, TTOO stock. Uh, 31 cents at the time of this video here. And you can see your trading volume is not too crazy this morning. I think it's not even in the top 20 um, as far as the more heavily traded stocks on the market. Um, but I really just wanted to make this video because if we take a look at the calendar here, we are on September 1st, Monday's Labor Day, and then the market won't open back up till the 5th. So again, three day weekend here across the United States and the market won't open till the 5th. And I wanted to talk about today specifically as we're seeing the price remain relatively the same on TTO as it kind of was yesterday. Um, but I alluded to in a previous video, and again, shout out to these Twitter users and stock tweet users that, that kind of pulled this up here. But um, right, people are talking about there's no delay with the FDA, right? The FDA has engaged on this submission and a positive outcome is expected. Very relieving news. This is a, a T2 rep inside stock tweets talking about since then on the quarter two call management provided an update with the FDA or that the FDA has engaged on this submission and a positive outcome is expected in regards to the FDA clearance. Now, there is another, um, I forget, I can't find the tweet specifically, but we talked about it a video or two ago. I think I may have mentioned it in yesterday's video as well. Um, how normally the 510k applications are like announced or updated on the fifth of every month um so obviously like the 90 day period was or the i think it's the 60 day period was on like august 16th or 15th um and then since then this is like the first fifth of the month since then or this upcoming um tuesday will be the first fifth of the month since then so if we're taking a look at that specifically this could potentially be the last trading day in the market today um, today being that that we see uh, before maybe an FDA clearance announcement. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen on the 5th, but I'm just saying with all the things that are coming together in regards to it, um, it looks like these four days in the market next week um, could, be a, could be a big uh, four days for T2 biosystems um, personally, right? We talk about this tweet here by Shelly. Um, Shelly goes on Twitter, sepsis is sepsis awareness month it's like specifically sepsis so who knows you guys maybe you know t2 was waiting to announce it maybe they already know about it or you know they want to have it coincide with you know sepsis awareness month which again september 1st is today we're now in sepsis awareness month so something definitely interesting to think about um and then here as well i wanted to show this this is just an article has nothing to do with t2 biosystems but i just feel like it has you know impact or this this article here attributes to the bullish outlook that i have on t2 biosystem so you can see here the blood the global blood culture test market is projected to witness remarkable growth reaching 7.6 billion by 2028 and 5.2 billion in 2023 at a robust cagr of eight percent during the forecast period drivers the drivers of this uh, potential um, growth in the global blood culture market, increasing number of sepsis patients and rising cost of treatment, rapid growth in geriatric population and chronic diseases, high incidence of nosocomial bloodstream infections, growing demand of rapid diagnostic techniques and faster turnaround times, which is a specifically what T2 Biosystems products do, high prevalence of infectious diseases globally, um, and then all of these right here, you can see here, just absolutely massive reasons um, why I think T2 Biosystems currently is positioning itself to be a dominant player in that space. And you can see here the global blood culture test. Obviously, it's not like a fun um, market to be in and it affects a lot of people negatively. Um, but as far as from a revenue standpoint, um, it's a very big one and it's one that's continuing to grow because so many people are putting money into these uh, issues that people are having in regards to um, blood culture samples and things like that taking a long time. Um, different types of diseases that directly affect, you know, are impacted by um, finding out the bacteria that's in blood and things like that. So again, so many reasons to be bullish. In my opinion, I know that the, the footers are going to come into the comments and give their reasons why they are not bullish. Um, but again, it's important to, and again, everyone's entitled to their own opinion when it comes to stocks, because that's exactly what buying and trading stocks is. It's like, you believe in a company or you don't and you buy it and you sell it right that's like what this is at the you know at its purest form so again keep that in mind you guys uh, make sure you guys are doing your own research drop a like on this video hit the subscribe button and as always have a great day